Yep. Cause guess what comes on next weekend? Playoffs. Yep. And guess what the council is going to be? The mountains. Yep. And guess where I was thinking of going next Saturday night? <sighs> oh, shit. What? Guess. No, I'm not guessing. The club. Oh, I might wait till I might wait till the following week if I still got this damn ear infection because that bass would really tank my hearing in my right ear when I'm over there wouldn't be able to hear anything don't you think that would be a good idea Love you, Daddy. I love you, son. Yeah, I think I might wait till the following week to go to the club because if my ear is still the way it is, the bass would affect my hearing more than normal. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. <sighs> so we'll see about the club this next week boy we gotta get a vegetable huh we gotta get a vegetable maybe a salad or something so I can get your mama and fix that steak for your mama and dog oh So what I got from the Colombian restaurant? You got rice and beans, steak. Maybe one or two pieces of chicharrones and one piece of uh, plantain, I think. Ooh. I mean, you got a whole meal. Yep. Or you can have chicken tenders. No, I'll have that. Okay. Like Colombian food. You know what? Mm -mm. I mean, I doubt this because we're pretty, uh, we're pretty resilient over at Lion Services. Uh, being that we're that slow, what do you, what do you think? I, I hope this doesn't happen because you still got shit to do. But then again, they might close too. Are you talking about what? I'm talking about... Road trip? No. No, I'm talking about lion. The weather's going to be so shitty tomorrow... Yeah. ...that... I would be interested in knowing what the wager would be about... ...whether my department closes... ...or whether the whole company closes tomorrow... ...because we're slow. And the weather's bad. I can always be on the lookout for my email from either... No, we get a. I I would get a call from Calling Post tomorrow morning. It'd be from Lion Services about. Okay. That'd be fine. I still gotta do some things, but you know. Uh huh. But you I know what? Don't be surprised. Well, their doctors are kind of the last things to close. But don't be surprised. If a bunch of shit closes tomorrow. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. Huh? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if we're down to like half our workforce tomorrow. If we do open. Yeah. 
hell, if you didn't have anything to do, the weather would be is supposed to be so bad tomorrow, I wouldn't even go given how slow we are. Like what? Like going into the warehouse. But if I'm not going to go to work because the weather sucks and then I'm going to go out in shitty weather, that'd make me a hypocrite, wouldn't it? Just thinking about your answer. Thinking about what? How to answer you. I mean, I'd be with you if something happened. They're talking about gusty winds mm -hmm. and all that shit. Mm -hmm. It'd be great. You know, it'd be great for me. What? <laughs> Cuddle up with you and give me some sanctum. When all that bad shit was happening. Oh, but you got shit to do. I know. If you didn't have shit to do, I'd definitely not go tomorrow. Because if I'm gonna, because I would never call into work, call out of work because the weather's really bad and we're slow and then go out in the really bad weather because that would be kind of, wouldn't it? Which we've been open in some bad weather before. Mm -hmm. Although the sound that the rain makes when it hits our building. I do like that sound. I can understand that. You know what I like? What? Flathead and wolfesses and little feet therapy. Yeah. It's a metal building. Like, I don't know, but like, you know what red next restaurant. where i think that where food's over there because i oh what curry gate curry gate is after punta gana isn't it yeah okay you know we could have gone but no nah. no we end up eating on our side of town because we you know we were hungry yeah i was hungry and we were going to your first choice which was the bibbidi bibbidi food yep my, well, my first choice for that would have been curry gate but actually, the thing is, that thing said that every place online you look, their website and everything, which says it was recently updated, says it's open. It says Bombay Grill. So Bombay Grill was supposed to be open today. These people have a lot of problems getting help. Yeah. Bibbidi bibbidi. When Curry Gate is legit closed on Monday. Bibbidi bibbidi. Yep. Which of course Curry Gate's closed on Monday because 
It's one of the best restaurants in Charlotte, of course. I bet they're still doing takeout. Who? Oh, today? Your Great Wall does that. Great Wall says our dining room's closed, but our takeout's open. Yeah. I think they do that on Monday or something, Monday and Tuesday. Something like that, because me and Miss Nye, they tried to go, but they were closed for dine-in. Oh, you know what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for them to open up in Monarch Market. You know what you're waiting for? Yeah. You your daddy some things. I did that. Yep. <sighs> Guess what they got? Like pops would say around dude, and dude was used properly when his trains would mess the son of a bitch. <laughs> you know, my buddy Skyler used to say what? Uh, so when like something like that would happen, something would be broke, broken, or something not working right, like son of a braille writer. <laughs> That is funny. Yeah. You know why? Because Braille writers were notorious for doing that. Because they're very mechanical and they're notorious for malfunctioning. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're talking about the... Yeah, see, I thought that you were talking about the person, but you actually are talking about the, uh, the machine. Yeah. Okay. That's why whenever some, something would mess up, like, you know how me and Matt say that when something, like, when the APS wouldn't be working, we'd say, that's racist? Yeah. Well, when the APS wouldn't be working, Skyler would go, that's son of a braille writer. <laughs> oh, Joe. We're here. 